Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I'm sitting in a bit more of the um the black. I don't usually do this till later on. I usually do little ones in the um the morning, but I'm going to my granddaughter's today, so I'm switching around because I'll be knitting the little ones at hers because there's no way I'm taking large orders like this. Because I know what the kids are like. They, they go into my bag sometimes looking for things and it doesn't matter what they say. They just get hold of the needles and pull them out. And that's the needles off the, the knitting off the needles and I have to put it back on again. So I'm doing a little bit of this while I'm sitting this morning because I'm going to my granddaughter's this afternoon. They're getting my Sunday lunch and be tormented by the kids and <laughs> well especially by a little lady but mine he wasn't too bad I was there on Thursday instead of Wednesday um last week he didn't bother with Thomas the tank engine he seemed to be more interested in his iPad and and laying his legs across me on the settee while he was doing it like he doesn't keep his legs still either when he does that. He's, he's up and down and his legs is moving around all the time. And... But anyway, that's what I'm doing. So I'll probably be taking my... Put that down in a minute. Probably taking my little one with me. This. The one I'm doing the tutorial for. I've got the back. And two of the fronts done. And I've just started on the one of the, the sleeves. So I've done the tutorial for these parts. And I've started the um the one just started doing the video for, for it. I've shown how many stitches I've cast on and the rib and how to do the increase and how to work out the um how to put the um the pattern in when, when you're increasing you don't start with the same number of stitches every row like you do when it's straight up. Cause you're shaping it outwards so i've shown how to find the um the place where to put the um to make sure you put the rosebuds in the right place so that's that little one i'm taking down with me but i noticed i put the second part of this up i've put two parts i'm putting it up in bits i put the first part up and i put the second part up but i had well over a thousand views on the first the first one but i haven't had all that many views on the second part and I'm wondering if it's the way I put the title up because I put the I put the number of the video up, but I'm putting the same number for all parts, just as part one, part two, and so on. That's the way I do it on my other channel on Sheila's just um knitting. And I was wondering if it's because I put um I put the I put the number of the video, which I think is 46, and then I put a 22 inch rosebud lace cardigan part one. And I did the same for the um the second part. I put the same number, 46, I think it was, 22 inch button up cordon, but I put part two. And I'm wondering if I haven't had as many views on the second part is because people have been looking and thinking it's the same one. So I've changed the um the title on it. I've put um the number 46, but instead of starting with 22 inch, I've took part one of a 22 inch card again. And for the second part, I've put, I put the number and part two. So anybody that's looking, maybe is looking for part two and doesn't realise, thinking that the second part I've put up is, is the same as the number one. It's not. It's part two. <laughs> that's what I've put up anyway. So that's what I'll probably be taking down doing my granddaughters and I'll probably get the... Um, the sleeve done is at least the sleeve up to the armholes because I'll do be doing more video again from the armholes to show how to do the um the decreasing and how how many stitches you need to um to decrease so that's a little bit far I can do one there and if I have any time if I get up to the armholes and I've still got a lot of time I'll take this one with me as well because I am doing it going to do a tutorial on this as well I'll have a few bits of the video done but I want to wait until I finish the other one first and then I'll put this one what I'm doing with this one up because I have been knitting this one for a little while but I haven't um I've only got the back and this is one of the sides done so I'll take that one as well and then if I get up to the armholes and I've still got a lot of time at my granddaughter's I'll start on this one but it all depends on the kids and 
the mood they're in and put that away so that's why i'm doing something on this uh, i'm nearly finished the back as you can see it's quite a <laughs> a long thing it does seems to have taken me a long time to um to get this one but i think the black is very hard on my eyes and i don't seem to be able to knit as much with the black as i do um other colors but i know once i get this finished and i get onto the um the sides and the sleeves I'll get on a lot faster because there's a lot less stitches and because it is a lot of, I mean, this is a 48 inch, there's a lot of stitches to be knitting across and sometimes I have to be very careful because with it having the glitter in, sometimes the, um, the needle goes, splits the wool from the, um, the glitter. So I have to be careful, a bit more careful when I'm knitting with this kind of so if I know I've knit with it before with, um, I think I've got a white sweater on it for myself and I've knit other little things in it. And I had to be careful then, even with the light colours, because you can split the, um, you can split the, the glitter from the uh, the wool, the way it's twisted round. If it's a little bit slack, it's, the needle tends to go through the glitter instead of the wool. Anyway, that's what I'm doing there. But yesterday... I went on my, I am on Facebook, I have quite a few, I'm in quite a few groups, the wool's just rolled across the floor there, I have quite a few groups on, um, in quite a few groups on uh, Facebook and a lot of them are in my local area where I live and areas around where I live like Newcastle and North East and things like that. Well I recently joined um, a group called Heaton Now and Then. Well, Heaton was the area that I grew up in until I was 17 years old. That was where I lived. Heaton in Newcastle. And I had, I looked on that uh, group and there wasn't many, wasn't really a lot, there hadn't been a lot of pictures put up lately, like photographs and, um, you know, old photographs. Because I have a lot of old photographs of, um, like, where I lived when I was quite young. And I thought, oh, I'll put some photographs um, up, get a little bit interest for some people in that. And uh, I had quite a few, and one, one or two of them was, um, you've probably heard of Rinkton's Tea Factory. Well, Rinkton's Tea Factory, the street that I lived, the part of Heaton that I lived, we had um, a main road called Shields Road. And there was this long Shields Road. One side of Shields Road was an area called Baker. And the other side of Shields Road, my area, was called Heaton. And then we had a road come down from Shields Road called Algernon Road, and that was where Brinkton's Tea Factory was. And I worked there for a, um, for a number of years, about three years, I think, something like that, from leaving school about from about 15 up to 18, I think. And I went to Will's Cigarette Factory after that because you had to be 18 to work in I was saying you had to be 18 to work in the, um, the cigarette factory. And anyway, I put these photos up on this um, group and I put a photograph. Um, it was a photograph of me standing outside Rinkton's Tea Factory, actually, and it was about 1962. And I put on the street, which was, Al well, the road, it was Algernon Road. And my street where I lived was called Belvedere Street. And it was just across the road from Rinkton's Tea Factory. Which was great when I worked there. I just had to get out, step out the door across the street, and I was into the factory where I was working. I used to work on the dispatch department in the um, in the factory at the time. But anyway, I put this photograph up, and uh, there was one or two comments. You know how they like the photo and that. And then this woman come on, and she said, um, "I think you're on the wrong group. That should be on the baker group." And I queried it and I said it's not Baker it's Heaton come back she says it's Baker I said it's not Baker put in capitals it's not Baker it's Heaton and she said the railway lines were the boundary between Baker and Heaton one side was Baker and Heaton and that is the Baker side I says it's not I says the railway line was not the boundary I said Shields Road was the boundary one side of Shields Road's Baker I says my side's Heaton I know where I lived and she started arguing and uh, 
you know, bringing up other things and why it was Baker. And of course, after that, a lot of people had seen this, <laughs> had seen this picture and they were all in agreement with me. They're coming on and um, a lot of them live in the same street as me. We knew each other. Some of them we knew each other and a lot of other were just friends that I had on uh, Facebook from uh, from other areas where we lived and they were all agreement and they were all trying to tell this woman that it was heating and she was saying no it wasn't it was Baker and she had all her reasons why it was Baker and we had all our reasons why we knew knew it was heating and I said well I says my mother rented a house on Belvedere Street, so I says they were telling her lies when they put heating on the rent cord. And I says, all you have to do is go on the census forms. I'm on Ancestry.com and I says, now I've checked the census forms on there. And my street, my house number was heating. Area was heating. She still would not have it. She was still arguing. And we're trying to explain to her, I says, remember, when we were kids, you have our bonfires. And if anyone from um, Baker used to come and try to raid our bonfires, you know, they were the enemy. The same with us if we went over to Baker and tried to raid theirs, we were the enemy. And that was the way it went on. We all knew where we lived. Those that lived in Baker knew they lived in Baker, and us in Heaton knew we lived in Heaton. But we just could not get it through to this woman and even I checked this morning and she's still arguing, they're still arguing about it. <laughs> just, just would not believe. I cannot believe what some people are like and they just will not give in when everybody, there wasn't, don't think there was a single person in all the comments that agreed with her and she just would not have it. And I checked her profile out on um, Facebook and and she's a lot younger than uh, me, so maybe things has changed since I left there, I don't know, but <laughs> I know it was heating when I lived there. That's it and all about it. Anyway, I'll be going down with my granddaughter soon, going for my Sunday dinner. I'm getting tormented by the kids, so this is just a little bit for today, so thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you all another time, so bye for now.